doing a whole lot of talking when I was in jail. When I got out, I don't really hear no talking no more, bro. Like all that silence, because I'm out now. I'm out. Everything I said I didn't have, I showed. You broke, I showed 50,000. We gotta be, we gotta be realistic on the bank. If we gonna do this shit, we gonna have to be realistic about what's going on, man. I think Sacramento, um, you know, it's a great city, but I, I think it really needs to take a look in the mirror. It's getting out of control, and I, and I don't see an end in sight. Among those killed was 49-year-old Ernie Cadena. He was one of five people shot in Meadowview Park during a filming of a rap video. Please, this has got to change. This has got to change. Hey, gang. You know what it is. Back again with it to bring you the real that's happening in the streets. Seems every city been feeling the backlash of these beasts, man. And today, we gonna touch on one that could be ranked as the most dangerous. With bodies surpassing 25, these two dudes have been taking it serious. I'm talking about the Sacramento Savages, Mozzie, and CML Lavish D. This one is straight street fuel that spilled into the hip hop scene. Let's get to it. Break down what really started this deadly beat and follow the disrespectful actions on wax and in public that led to the skyrocketing trail of bodies. CML Lavish D stands for Cash Money Lab. You hear his name come up, and it seems the streets give him credit for being active and earning his respect as a stepper. He's been doing his thing in that life for a minute. Can't you slide past here, Bad. You dig what I said, nigga? We on that jack in the park, boy, nigga. You see that street, nigga? We out here, straight up, box smashing, nigga. We really spot smashing, no. And made his come up in music after his rival, Mozzie. At one point, the public was unaware these two were even beefing. This wasn't rap ignited. This was real beef from the street that Mozzie in turn used to propel himself further with what street savages do best, diss their ops and they fallen homies. It just so happened that while the track did put the spotlight on Mozzie's career, yeah, it was like um, just his names in the songs. Um, it was sacrificing. It was the I was talking about is, is, is fake activated. So I already know when I say their name, they gonna be on my lineage. They gonna be on my bumper. They gonna be, they gonna slither. They gonna slide through this mother looking for me mm -hmm. so it's intensified it further sparked animosity between him and his ops the music intensified the music intensified because it's like uh it just generate more animosity mm -hmm. you feel me um they come shoot a video in our hood we go shoot a video in their hood uh that's the ultimate disrespect huh period you feel me so it turned up and influenced a few that took many of their homies, one of which happened within 12 hours of him dropping the track. And get this, it was the hit on one of his homies that was in the vid. The diss song and video was the truth. Before we get into the track that exploded the beef, there's a song predating that diss from CML Lavish Camp that many aren't aware of or fail to mention. It was his homie Liz K that went to Mozzie's hood at Oak Park and shot a music video for the diss track with the shit in front of the popular Oak Park Market store. This only aided in prompting Mozzie to do what he did next and drop the highly disrespectful track the truth in 2013 where he called dudes by name like these just really went to your neighborhood in front of your your main store a liquor store and did a full vi music video this wasn't no hey we outside no this is a full music video like that's 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 a low blow and it cost him his gang brother zilla zo zo was a real one who chose to be in the vid with mozzie even knowing that the names this in the song were dudes that were active in the streets then the dude in the video ended up getting killed. Yeah, my brother, rest in peace, Zilla Zo. So that was your actual brother or your close friend? Uh, just blood brother. When I say blood brother, gang related. Okay, gang related. I understand. So how long after the video did he end up getting killed? Probably uh, 24 hours. 24 hours after you released it? Probably less than that to keep it 100, probably like 12 hours. And under 12 hours of appearing in the video release, Zoe was Merc. This hit Mozzie hard, and he released a freestyle doing what he does best, pouring his pain over the beat. Let it cause he was hit score. Zilla Zoe, big loss, he was the score. Hardest part is I don't get to call to see him no more. It was times where I know if I believed in the Lord. Assault rifle with a sword on the tip of that thing. Although Lavish claims he's always son Mozzie, and never was fearful of him. You were never a problem for me. You were never a problem for my little homies. You were never, ever a threat. Or nothing, you were just a d over there, you know what I'm saying? And that was d you could rap. His retaliation track, The Truth, was the catalyst that began a blood trail of homies and gang members alike. The track amplified the already brewing beef in the streets between the two camps. What set this shit off, it was already up. 
You dig what I'm saying? It was already up. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it's already up. It's like, we never been cool. We never been cool with They never been cool with us, you know what I mean? Like, I always like you know what I'm saying? Mozzie will follow up with another scorching diss towards Lavish, alongside then cool rapper Filthy Rich. The track, just being honest, took even more shots at Lavish. And Lavish couldn't let the disrespect to his street cred and fallen homie slide. After releasing a return diss with the DB General titled Mac Blast, Lavish would also go on records to drop another diss track titled Where's Waldo, instigating that after Mozzie's rap shenanigans, he went into hiding. On the track, Lavish can be heard taking shots at Zilla Zoe to taunt Mozzie. Mozzie, you a killer, but only in your videos. Talking on that blah la la, sounded hella silly though. I'm just being honest, that's what got the last homie smoke. He tried to tell the truth, and look what happened to that dude Zo. Lavish wasn't playing any games and was bringing the heat right back, but soon he wanted more action to make another example. So what's he do? He set out to catch Mozzie or anyone from his camp lacking. So like, I'm like, F it, I'm tired of rapping, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, we gonna put one of these on camera doing him bad, wherever we catch him at, you know what I'm saying? Shoot him, beat him up, whatever the f happens, it's gonna happen, you know what I'm saying? Y'all dissing the homies, filming all of this shit. Unlucky candidate being Mozzie's manager. And we see Mozzie manager, and I'm like, I'm finna beat this right here, you feel what I'm saying? He a street Lavish and his goonies jumped Mozzie's manager after finding him in the mall and gave him the beat after which he posted online for the world to see. Get on that bro. Get on that Get on that an act that Lavish lives to regret as it only brought legal trouble on his camp. They get to be in this I'm recording it. I'm like, get on that they got. Then I posted it. I'm like, yeah, I'm being honest. Uh, uh, reply. I'm just being honest. Reply. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah, this is all reply to Lavish would do four years of a six year sentence in the pen for his involvement in the drama, and Mozzie took advantage of that situation. His music was taken off while poking fun at Lavish in interviews. Yeah, man, you know, shout out to Lav, man. We just gonna get brass. Shout out, man, and uh, we gonna act like nothing really exists as far as the spunkiness, man. Cause you know that shit is that shit is strictly. When I say strictly, I mean strictly for the streets. You feel me? Was blasting that shit on that on, on, on social media and shit. We was just having with it, man. We ain't really like that. We not tripping like that, nigga. <laughs> yeah, me. Oh, the big man, free that. <laughs> Lavish had to sit and see his enemy flourish. Even worse, when he was out on parole, part of his agreement was that he couldn't respond back or even mention Mozzie's name. On lockdown, you know what I'm saying? Like, watching these my, my enemies be successful because I'm locked down. Like, I couldn't say names. I couldn't, you know what I'm saying? Like, I had to sign parole conditions to where I couldn't say Mozzie's name. Like, it only added to the urge to get back at Mozzie as Lavish just soaked it all in. The more I'm watching and you keep dissing, it's just building up. Like, all right, you know what I'm saying? Like, all right, you feel me? Like, in an interview after getting out of prison, there was a recording that allegedly provided receipts that Mozzie had put a hit out on Lavish. It can all be speculation to drum up the beef, but the crazy thing is, Sebo's music was the scene of a shooting, leaving five people shot and one innocent bystander succumbing to his injuries. And I was there on, on GPS ankle monitor again in a shooting breakout. Boom, you know what I'm saying? Innocent man get like four or five people get shot and shit like that. Among those was 49-year-old Ernie Cadena. He was one of five people shot in Meadowview Park during a filming of a rap video. The innocent man that lost his life was Ernie Cadena, leaving behind his daughter to cope with her loss. So there very well could have been a hit on Lavish D's head from Mozzie, and with that, the damage was already done, and it was too late to even stop the feud. Both rappers sustained losses that sprung forth from the diss tracks. Uh, after the truth video, it was a gang war behind that. After the just being honest video, gang war behind that. It's uh. Once the beef had fueled to burn, Mozzie took a back seat while his two homies, Snubs and Uzzy Marcus, came for lavish with the vengeance. Snubs would drop a diss track with Born Stunner 3G, Dead Ops K, which prompted a response from Lavish calling Mozzie out for his click dropping, which in his opinion was trash. Tell Mozzie to reply. That weak ass shit you doing overkill that shit trash blood on jays and then you try to act like you got this big old with mozzie nigga you ain't you just trying to be a good you just want to be a big rapper 
You know what I'm saying? You just you think you're a star. You want to be a superstar. Notice there's one constant theme between this beat. Almost if not all, the diss tracks are solely centered around disrespecting those who have passed away. Maybe that's exactly why there's such a pile of bodies that has been laid out along the history of the beat. But none of them seem to care enough to mash the brakes. Lavish actually stated on live that he was actually trying to murk Snugs in his sister's car that Snugs once stole. Snugs, on the other hand, is saying that they beat down Lavish, and Lavish snitched and called the cops and got him five years. Two weeks later, you're in a brand new bench. Look at this bench is in my sister's name. Uzzy was back joining the online back and forth, sticking up for his homie Mozzie. What it is, is this bruh, bruh ain't finna, bruh ain't finna respond to your bruh. You know why? Cause bruh too big, bro. Why would he respond to a at that level? Bro, it's, it's about seven, it's about seven from Oak Park who doing more numbers than you. While Lavish was calling him face to face like a man and ended off. After going at it online, the body count seemed to phase off and things began to show some sign of calming down. But when Lavish D got off of parole, he got right back on Mozzie's head with the follow-up of his popular diss with World's Waddle 2 in November of 2020. Just when it looked like both camps might have a chance to band together and push Sacramento even further, the cycle began once more. Lavish swung back for his deceased homies that couldn't spit back for themselves. Like, you should have thought with that scuba gear, and that's why I dropped that shit on y'all Y'all keep dissing the homies that can't speak up for themselves. I had to speak up, and I been wanting to speak up. Now you just been on the track. Lavish D went in, calling out Mozzie, dissing his fallen homies in the process. Uzzy Marcus was still with all the smoke and retaliated with a diss track of his own titled "Last Dude Diss Me in the Box" after calling out Lavish for his diss track. Just following this beef gives an ominous feeling, cause it's like all dudes talk about is blood spill and it's been manifesting every time. Mozzie might have realized this, but maybe the thoughts of all the homies he's lost weighed on him, cause he changed strategy on Lavish. He was fighting to win the feud, while Lavish seemed to be fighting to win the battle. Mozzie was targeting Lavish's money. The blood already been spilled between the two. Both been incarcerated, both dropped heavily disrespectful disses, Mozzie had the bigger following in the industry. And he was using his clout to undermine Lavish and suck his bank dry. I done talked to promoters, I've talked to rappers, I've talked to females, I've talked to in the streets, club owners, and they all say the same thing. You know, why does Mozzie always like tell us, like tell people don't with you? This succeeded, but only for a while. Lavish's resolve was far greater than anticipated and was certain his come up will be greater, while his ops plateau and decline. Even with that, it doesn't seem like the blood spill between the two is going to end anytime soon, if any at all. Lavish made it clear that there have been too many losses and disrespect to be cool now. I'm never doing a song with Mozzie. Never, okay. ever. Well, like I said, people do grow and, and life changes and situations change and you never know. You he never stay, know. He stay over there, I stay over here. We ain't gotta cross no paths, you dig it what I'm saying? Like, Let's hope the body count doesn't rise any further. Both dudes are talented and can do places for free. Let me know what you wanna see in the upcoming video, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'm out.